Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines. The Oakland County Sheriff promising to find out who's behind threats at three schools. They targeted Oxford, Lake Orient, and Brandon High Schools on Friday. We are told the threats were not credible, but charges will be sought because Sheriff Bouchard says it's no joke. He also says the Oxford High prankster claimed to be the former student charged with a deadly mass shooting there. That student's been locked up without bonds since the attack in November. A deadly officer-involved shooting is under investigation in Taylor. It started with a report of shots fired at the Ponds apartment complex. We are told the suspect repeatedly came out of the apartment holding a gun and eventually did so in open fire. Multiple officers returned fire. The gunman later died at the hospital. When the investigation is complete, it will be turned over to the prosecutor's office for review. And spring is here in the Novi Home and Garden Show is your one stop shop for all of your gardening needs. Whether you're looking to redecorate or do some landscaping, you'll want to check this out. It's happening at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi. The show will run Saturday from 10 in the morning to 8 p.m. and Sunday from 10 in the morning to 5 p.m. Tickets are $9 for seniors 55 and up, 10 bucks for adults and children under 12 get in free. And the Ramadan Sahur Festival in Dearborn returns. The annual event featuring about 55 food and merchandise vendors, Islamic music, poetry, and raffles, as well as a $12,000 scholarship for five local students. The Ramadan Sahur Festival happening in the Sears parking lot at Fairlane Mall. It runs each weekend through April 30th. Let's get a check of our forecast with Dave Rexroth. Dave? Yeah, no matter what the weather this weekend, if you're inside the Home and Garden Show, it smells like flowers and it's dry. But there are some showers out there tonight, probably changing over to some snowflakes. Should not impact the roads tomorrow morning. They'll be wet. Uh, if you really want to be careful, which is always a good idea, slow down the ramps, bridges, and overpasses. 44 on Saturday. The game during the afternoon should be mostly cloudy and dry down at Comerica, but it's chillier than it was today. 53 Sunday. Starting out cold, though. Then we get to the 60s Monday through most of next week through Thursday. We're talking mid-60s by the middle of the week.